B. Dalton Bookseller was an American retail bookstore chain founded in 1966 until it closed in 2010. Welcome to Eric C. Productions. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified of my latest video that are posted during the week. Please leave a suggestion or a comment and maybe you might see that video in a future posting. Thanks for watching and now back to the program. Critics have called Tom Clancy's novels compelling, spine-tingling, and breathlessly exciting. And his latest book, The Cardinal of the Kremlin, is no exception. Thanks, books. It's about the race of two world powers to develop the Star Wars missile defense system. And the lives of two men will determine the fate of the entire world. Sounds compelling, spine-tingling, and breathlessly exciting to me, Tom. Everybody's a critic. The Cardinal of the Kremlin, published in 1995, now just $15.99 at B. Dalton Bookseller. You can call me books. Dayton's department store chain, based in Minneapolis, Minnesota, began the B. Dalton chain in 1966. Bruce Dayton, a member of the family that operated Dayton's department store, named the bookstore after himself, but substituted an L for the Y in his surname. The name B. Dalton was chosen because it connotated quality, dependability, and authority. The first store opened in nearby Adena in August of that year, followed by a second store in St. Louis, Missouri. Although the chain was originally intended to operate in downtowns and suburban areas, the majority of the stores were opened inside regional shopping malls. In 1968, the chain acquired Pickwick Books of California, which they later merged into B. Dalton in 1979. By 1969, Dayton's had merged with Hudson's of Detroit and became Dayton Hudson Corporation. Dayton Hudson Corporation would now be called Target. B. Dalton expanded throughout the 1960s and 70s, going from 12 stores in 1968 to 125 by 1973. B. Dalton had stores in 43 of the 50 states in 1978 and was second to Walden Books, then the U.S. largest bookstore in store numbers, but posting higher profits than its rival. By 1986, discounting practices by rival book chains had caused declining profits for B. Dalton stores, as well as a decrease in new shopping malls. As a result of the declining profits, Dayton Hudson Corporation sold the B. Dalton chain to Barnes & Noble. Under Barnes & Noble's ownership, B. Dalton acquired Scribner Bookstores, Inc. from Rizzoli International Bookstores in 1989. B. Dalton also started a video game store called Software Etc. It later merged with Babbage's, who would later be known as GameStop. Software Etc. initially began operating in B. Dalton bookstores, but was spun off in 1987 and began focusing on standalone stores. At the same time, the chain began closing outlets and relocating others while op opening other prototypes. It had reached its peak of 798 stores. By 1997, the chain had shrunk to 528 locations and continued to close many more over the next decade. In January of 2010, Barnes & Noble closed the last 50 B. Dalton locations. Two exceptions were the stores at Union Station in Washington, D.C. and the Roosevelt Field Mall in Garden City, New York. This location closed in January of 2012. The Union Station closed at the end of February 2013. The mall that I used to go to, the Brea Mall in Brea, California, had a B. Dalton Books, and that was one of the main reasons why we would go to the mall, to go shop at B. Dalton Books. And the thing that stuck out in my mind at this uh, store was the parquet floors, the wood parquet floors, and the, the book uh, aisles too were really wide and we'd sit there for like maybe 20-30 minutes uh, going through all the books. So that is my memory of B. Dalton books. 
Hey, if you just watched my video, thanks for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe to Eric C. Productions.